Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day two of the seven day productivity group. My name is Brittany Till. If you missed out on yesterday's video, make sure you go back and watch that. Very important you do so. Um, today, I'm going to teach you the first scientifically proven habit to help you create success. There's going to be five that we're going to outline um, through this week. So I'll give you one a day. Now, as I stated earlier in the posts uh, within the group, uh, I hope you're paying attention to those. You're not going to love these habits, okay? Nothing that um, helps you achieve success is going to be necessarily fun, but it, it'll be worth it, I promise, in the long run, and it gets easier every day. Uh, so one thing that I think we all can agree on is that we cannot trust ourselves as far as we can throw ourselves. Um, you know, for example, you say that you're going to start eating clean Monday and then you screw up and have a cup cupcake or a bagel for breakfast. I don't know. Um, but self-control isn't always there in the times that we need it most. So I just want you to remember that when I tell you this first habit, because I know you're not going to like it and I didn't like it at first either. But now that I've been implementing it, I have seen a drastic change, um, not only in my relationship between my spouse and I, but the amount of rest that I'm getting and um, the way that I feel about my downtime. So habit number one, you ready for this? No phone in the bedroom. Yes, you heard me right. No phone in the bedroom. Now, hear me out before you exit out of this video, okay? First and foremost, I'm going to give you some straight facts to help you with, with ease the blow on this one. There was a study six months ago that showed 33%, this is a big number, you guys, 33% of people check their phone in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, you guys. Is that not crazy? You leave the phone out of the bedroom, okay? The average person wakes up their phone 2,157 times per day. That is a little excessive, if you ask me. We are now living in um, the world of attention marketing. Everything is trying to grab your attention, and I mean everything. Um, there's a time and place for leisure scrolling on Facebook, and I will tell you that is not in the bedroom. When you're in the bedroom, you're spending time with your family, you are trying to rest, you are relaxing, this is your you time. Leave the phone out of the bedroom, especially for people who do at-home businesses. This is crucial. You have to have your downtime, ladies and gentlemen. It's something you got to have. Um, so, Leave the phone out of the bedroom. When you wake up in the morning, I want you to have a fighting chance to focus on what's important to you. And if the phone is in the bedroom, the first thing you're going to do, start going through emails, looking on Facebook, looking at your Snapchat, checking your text messages, checking your voicemail, whatever. When you wake up first thing in the morning, I don't want the first thing for you to do is start scrolling. I do not want that phone in the bedroom. Okay. That being said, I know a lot of you are going to freak out. Well, I'm a mom and my husband works away and I have to have a phone for an alarm and all of these excuses. I'm going to tell you right now, I had every single one of them when I started this journey. You can solve all of these problems. I promise you. I put my phone across the room right next to my closet. So it's literally a good 10 to 15 steps away from my bed. Like it's far away. I put it on silent. And so no text message, no notifications from social media will alert me. However, excuse me, if someone calls me, I will get, it will ring. So you tell the people of importance, hey, I'm doing this new thing. I'm not going to have my phone in my bedroom at night. So if you need to get a hold of me, you have to call me. I will not hear a text. I will not see a Facebook message. I need you to call me, okay? So set it up. Talk with the people that mean the most to you. Let them know what you're doing um, and go from there. Go from there. Put your phone in your closet. Buy a regular alarm clock if you have to. My phone, on silent. The alarm and the ringer will still go off. So you can make it work, you guys. You can make it work. So that being said, 
I want you tonight, phone goes in the closet, goes away from your bed, out of the room, wherever you gotta put it to keep your paws off of it. Put it on silent. No phone in the bedroom. Spend some time with your spouse. Spend some time looking at the back of those eyelids because we all need a little extra shut eye and keep the phone out of the bedroom. When you wake up in the morning, I do not want you to immediately grab that phone. Give yourself five minutes. Sit there, take some deep breaths, and just relax. Have some you time, okay? No phone in the bedroom. I'll see you guys tomorrow with habit number two.